All records at Croke Park, Dublin, are broken when over 50,300 people watch Kildare in light jerseys and Cavan come out for the All-Ireland Football Final. Kildare are slight favourites, but it's Cavan who get into their stride from the start. Right from the kick-off, Cavan take the ball well into the Kildare half. The game is a little wild in the first few minutes. Higgins of Kildare gets injured. After ten minutes of play, the score is one point each. It soon becomes obvious that Cavan are absolutely at the top of their form. As compared with the team which narrowly escaped defeat by Tipperary in the semi-final, they have improved beyond all belief. The Kildare forwards don't come up to expectations. Their main trouble seems to be faulty shooting. At the end of the first half hour, the score is Cavan one goal and five points to Kildare's two points. Most of the play is still in the Kildare half, and our cameraman, focused on the Kildare goal, is kept busy most of the time. In the last few minutes of the first half, Kildare scored a goal to bring Cavan's lead down to four points, but not to be outdone, Boylan scores another goal for Cavan after a magnificent forward movement. Kildare scored another point before the half-time whistle blows, with Cavan two goals and five points to Kildare's one goal and two points. The crowd is wild, except this little fellow. Kildare start the second half with determination written in their play, but their best efforts are unsuccessful, and Cavan score again. And then comes Kildare's supreme effort. They attack hard and consistently, and though they never really get on top of Cavan, the play does move over into the Cavan side a good deal, and Kildare's score is creeping slowly up. The tightly packed spectators forget all about their discomfort in the excitement. But all the same, when three big men are crushing you, phew, it's hot. With the minutes passing, Kildare are fighting a forlorn hope. In the minds of everyone present, Cavan are already winners. But due credit must be given to the fact that in the last part of the match, Kildare reduced Cavan's lead from ten points to four. And when the final whistle blows with Cavan winners by three goals and six points to Kildare's two goals and five points, 50,000 people go home feeling they've seen a great match.